Good morning, everyone. Today, we'll continue to explore Adobe InDesign and what features this great application has offered us. In lesson three, it's about setting up a document and working with pages. Before we proceed to our main lesson, here's a reminder about lessons one and two slideshows in Adobe InDesign, which I have posted in Google, Google Stream. So please check it out. For those who have missed the previous slides, then you can review it from Google Stream. Okay, let, let's hop on to our objectives. Objective number one, we are going to override master page items and document pages and place text and graphics as well. And the second objective is to view and rotate spreads. Now let's go to overriding master page items and document pages and placing text and graphics. So in the previous lesson, we have created framework of the 12 page publication in place and now we're ready to lay out document pages so how are we going to start with in overriding master pages so first we will pages panel in adobe indesign so this is your pages panel and let's double click page 2 so we can see it from our pages panel this is page 2 let's double click that one then we'll go to the view menu and make sure that the fit spread in window is checked so this is now the the view of our of our document this is pages two and three and we can see it from our workspace so the next thing that we need to do is go to file menu and then you can see down here the place button so we are going to click that one so that we can add articles and graphics as well. So once we click that, we'll be able to see the place dialog box. This is your place dialog box. And we are going to locate lesson three folder. Inside that folder, we have the links folder and we are going to select these files here. So it's actually articles one and two and graphics one and two. So you just have to click article one and then press the shift key, click graphics two and the four files will be selected. So once that's selected, click the open button. And in this workspace, you'll be able to see um, you'll be able to notice that we have a loaded text icon okay, with the cursor. So this is now your active cursor, the one with a loaded text icon. So this means that we can place a text inside our, our document now. Okay, let's go ahead and in the left side or in page 2, once you click the loaded text icon somewhere here, okay, there are some grid lines that you can see. So we click it somewhere here and we'll be able to add this text here. So just go ahead, click on that uh, column and the text will appear. In the third page, we're going to add another text here, this column. So just click the mouse and it will um, be pasted in our, in our document since we had the loaded text icon a while ago. 
So now we have the text ready and we are going to add graphics. So this is the third graphics. We can place it here and the fourth graphic somewhere here. Okay, so this is now our first article. This is our first graphic. This is the second article and the second graphics. Okay, so in in this page I have made some adjustments. So what I did here is choose the selection tool and adjust this text box here. Okay. A while ago it was in this column. So we make it we made an adjustment and make it like this and also this uh, Paragraphs here. A while ago, it was in this column. So these are the slight adjustments that I made in this page. So after we have done those adjustments, we'll just uh, go to the edit menu and choose deselect all. So we can proceed to add another um, snippet or design in our document. So once we click deselect, we will be able to have a fresh view of our, our document. So after that, we will go again to the file menu and click place button. And this time we are going to add a snippet. So in case you missed the lesson, the previous lesson, we already added snippet uh, during our previous lesson. So just click on the place button and your place dialog box will come out again since we have opened lesson 3 folder a while ago. So it will offer the available files which we can see it from here. And that's actually we are going to select snippet number two dot itms so we can click the op open button once we have selected that one and in this page i actually have added the snippet so we just drag from somewhere here it's actually the the bleed or the guide the red guide that we can see somewhere there so click your mouse there and just drag all the way down here and the snippet once you release the mouse you will be able to see the snippets so these are actually the snippets I'm encircling it now these are already made files that were created previously so these are our snippets So we need to deselect again. So go to edit menu and click deselect. So once we click that one, we will have a fresh view of our document. And then we can go to the file menu and save. So now we are going to override two master items into our spread. So how are we going to do that? So the first thing is to select the type tool. This is from your tools panel. Okay, it's actually one, two, three, four, five, the sixth tool from, from the top most uh, button. And once you have the type tool select, actually, uh, Click this part here, the header text, okay? So while, while pressing the shift, uh, shift and control key and command shift key for Mac, you will be able to uh, select this text. So just do that one at a time. So click on the frame of that header text and we're going to change the text there. So we will change 
this uh, header text with skills okay and this part here with shots so once we have changed the text we can uh, go to file menu again and save that part now let's go ahead to view the completed spread now we can hide guides and frames and see what the completed spread looks like so let's choose the selection tool from the your from your tools panel and then we wanted to see the whole view of our document so click view and fit spread in window So this is now the time to hide some guides. We are going to click the view menu again and somewhere here, the screen mode, okay? So once we select that one, we will have these options, normal, preview, bleed, and slug, or presentation. So just click the preview button and there, the guides are gone. Some Text frames and graphic frames are, are gone as well. So this is now the finished product of our newsletter. So we have the, the header text here. We have paragraph. We have images as well as the snippets. So we'll go ahead, just file menu and save. So before we go to log out our accounts, we need to, there's another thing that I need to share with you. So it's about rotating spreads, okay? How to rotate spreads. So there's a ready-made file. It's actually uh, 03 underscore n in the same file. So I'll open this file. And I'll show you how to rotate spreads. So as you can see, this page actually is quite distracted. So the view is not that good to see. So we are going to rotate this page here. So let's double click uh, page four in our pages panel. And somewhere in the view menu, you will see, yeah, uh, we're going to fit this page again in the window. Then in the view menu, we are going to select rotate spread. And you will see that we have these options, 90 degrees clockwise. So we'll select that one. And there you go. We have rotated this page. And... This is now ready for us to edit something. It would be easier for us to edit if we're looking at this page with this, um, the view is like this. So once we have edited something there, we can go back to view menu, rotate, then clear the rotation. And we can close the file as well and then save so we can choose to save or we can choose not to save it but I suggest it's better to save if we have um, edited something in our document congratulations we have completed lesson 3 setting up a document and working with pages so I have here um, review questions and review answer, answers to enhance our understanding about lesson three in Adobe InDesign. So just go ahead, go ahead with the review questions and answers 
for this particular lesson. Okay, any comments or any questions regarding the lesson today? If there's none, let's proceed to our next activity, which is in Google Classroom. So please check module 8 and please answer several questions in module 8. So any feedback from this lesson so far? Any response or any ideas that you would like to share? If there's none, don't forget to take an eye rest before we go to your you go to your next class. And wishing you all a great and safe weekend filled with love and peace. So before you log out, I would like to take an online class attendance. So I hope everyone to be safe and enjoy your day. Thank you and bye-bye.